Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at how I create louvres in Fusion 360. Um, so I've got a flat uh, extruded rectangle here. Um, I'm going to just choose this plane and start a sketch. So I want it to look like a fan vent, the type of vent that you get where everything is angled downwards so that weather can't get in. Uh, so I'm going to put some uh, right angle triangles here. Well, just one to be honest. So that's going to be the start of my louvre. So if I finish that, I'm going to extrude that on both sides by pressing E. Change this to symmetric. And I know it's 120 mil wide this, so I'm going to just going to go 50 mil both sides, which gives me a nice triangular shape. Um, so I want that quite a few times all the way down this rectangle so I can use the pattern tool to do that but let's um, just make this look a little bit prettier so if we go to uh, fillet, fillet or fillet by pressing F and I'm just going to put a 5mm on the edge of that, it's nice and rounded so that works pretty well um, you could do that with, with other parts of it if you want to to make it look good but I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. Um, so we've got my part. I'm going to select both of those in the timeline at the bottom left. Select both of those things because that's what I want to repeat all the way down this rectangle. I'm going to go to create pattern, pattern on path. So over here it's already selected my objects that I want to create into a pattern. Um, I need to select my path, and my path is going to be this line, the length, running the length of the rectangle. So I'll select that, and um, basically I just drag this slider and pull it all the way to where I want it to stop. And then I can change the number of these that I'm putting in. I want them as tight as possible. Nine might be okay. So I'm just gonna let's let's choose eight just in just for so we don't get any overlaps. Eight uh, all in one direction, and I'm just gonna press OK. Now that's created my solid louvres on this rectangle, and we just need to create the holes that go straight through. And I can do I do this. The way I'm going to show you now, it requires two steps, um, but there may be a quicker way. If you know of, a, know of a quicker way, then please let me know. So I'm going to select this, all the faces of the bottom of the louvres, and I'm going to go to Shell on the Modify section. And then all you need to do is type in your thickness of the shell around the edge. So I'm going to put two millimeters. You could go a little bit further, 7 millimeters would give you less of a gap because there's more material around the outside. You could go 1 if you want a super fine edge. I've just noticed that I've not filleted the other side of this, but it doesn't matter. You get the gist of what it should look like. Um, so we've got that 2 mil. I'm going to press OK. Now you'll notice also that it's blocked inside now because we haven't gone into the rectangle at all. So I'm just going to select all the faces into the rectangle by holding shift and making them all blue. And we'll go to extrude by pressing the letter E. And we're going to go downwards, I think it's 4 mil thick this. Uh, so you can see it's red, that signifies that, that it's going to cut through my rectangle. And if I've selected all those, if I press OK, there it's created my louvres. And also, it's not that pretty because I should have filleted that. In fact, this is quite useful because I can show you how to, if you go back and um, kind of correct any mistakes. So this edge here, it's too much of an angle so I'm just going to go back to where I filleted it and if you double click on that 
you can get up to this edit feature and right now it's pointing at where I selected earlier but I can also just click an edge I can press plus in this little menu where it says edit feature and select this edge and I'm also going to have this at 5mm as well because I want it to be nice and even both sides that's fixed that it's gone back to my design and there we go that's what I wanted so if we look from the front all the holes are blocked stopping what you don't want to get in and then if we look from the other side you can see that it's open so that's how you create louvres hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and thank you very much for watching